Hey guys, what's up? Abomination9 here. We're back playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We left off, we got into a fight with Lady Bridget, and they kidnapped Nia. Well, I don't know if it's kidnapped, they arrested Nia, I guess I should say. And we're supposed to be walking around, getting information on where they keep prisoners. Also, for some reason, uh, we are hiding Pyra in this Kitsune uh, Kigurumi or whatever. It's, I know it's not an actually not actually Kigurumi, but I, whatever. Or I'm calling it one. This Kitsune hoodie. But uh, first things first. Hopefully, I've got the audio sorted out for this. I mean, technically, there's nothing wrong with the audio before, but uh, in Elgato, the uh, microphone always has this background noise i know it's a complaint with elgato period like elgato for some just re for some reason just has this static noise in the background and also it gets hyper sensitive so you can hear noises that i don't really want to want you to hear like you know just my uh like tongue moving around or whatnot so i don't know uh, i figured out how to save the game audio and my microphone audio separately and then i can modify that posts and posts so i don't have to worry about that because it gets, stresses me out hardcore knowing that this video's up there with just that background noise uh going and then there's no noise gate so you're just listening to every single sound that's happening through my mic so hopefully that's uh dealt with now and we can move on though i don't know uh, if i want to look around this place first or what I mean, we can't. We haven't really explored or anything. We haven't gotten any. We haven't grabbed any quests from this place yet. But I don't know what I want to do. Cause I would like to save Nia before going like full open world mode. You're all mine. We still don't have the ability to do that. Break barrel. I guess someone needs the ability of uh, break barrel. Whatever that is. So, I get- wait, it's telling us to- there's a question mark somewhere right here? This way? You? Oh! Why, if it isn't a driver, just who I was hoping to see. Is something wrong? Well, you see, I've got loads of fruit now, thanks to this bumper harvest. I was just thinking I'd use it to make my famous fruit pie. Everyone gets a slice. I don't mean to brag, but everyone who's tried my pie says it's something special. Yes, ask anyone. Tawina's pie, yeah, Tawina's, Tawina's pie, the tastiest in all of Toradga. My husband nearly bursts uh, his britches, stuffing himself when I make it. It was because of my pies that he wanted to marry me, he said. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a little bit carried away blowing my own uh, trumpet there. So the problem is, I'm actually a bit short on some of the things I need for the pie. The traders around here are hopeless for ingredients, so I was hoping some kind person would get them for me. Leave it to me. It's very kind of you. Could you get me a nice bit of hustle hyacinth and some mint fish? I have some mint fish, I believe. It's just not the same without those special ingredients. Fresh and fruity quest. Okay, I'll try to remember uh, that name for the thumbnail if that's what this video is mostly about. Dumbridge already have the fish part, and there's no longer any quests on my HUD. Okay, so she wanted mint fish, which we have. So you want some hustle hyacinth in Gourmand. Which I guess means just look around for some shops. Which I'm assuming it would be up here. So I don't really know. I'm not familiar with this place yet. I haven't really walked around. We're like in the middle of freaking nowhere. I think this is the main place over here. We could salvage if we want to. Actually, you know what? Why not? Let's uh, just 
check out the salvage the salvage point. All we have is normal cylinders, though. Oh, I can't wait. Whoops. Huh. Onwards. Well, we missed the first one, but the second one was all right. Oh man, did I come up with a load of guff again? Okay, a monster and some stuff, which is a possibility. I already knew that. Is okay. it even going to fight us? Oh, it is. All right, let's go. Though, actually, Pyro, you took your hoodie off. Hello? What's the point of wearing the hoodie if you're just going to take it off when we get into a fight? Our emotions are in two, Rex. My exactly. How am I whipping so hard? Yeah. It's only level three, at least. Ha. Rush down. Ha. Why not? So fast. There's not enough time to actually walk around and hit him. Yeah. Ha. So I'm going to... Let him hit me, and then I'm gonna try to circle around like that, and then no, I can't. Like maybe here. Nope. Well, he died anyways. Can you put your hoodie back on? Yes, thank you. So I guess we can salvage there indefinitely. Catch some mint fish. Did we pick up what we needed? Cause. Did actually doing that give us the stuff we needed? I'm so confused. That's not the button I wanted. I wanted to press Y so I could see the details here. Okay, no, we did not get any hyacinth. It just, maybe we picked up a mint fish out of that and so it switched to that one. Uh, so I guess, we still have to go into the town, but maybe we could just farm I'm there for right. some fish. <laughs> we have butchers piece. here. Did Red Trucks know that they're recruiting over there for new drivers? I was not expecting this. Yeah, I saw that earlier when we first arrived in the city. Red Trucks should try too. Chance of success basically 100%. I'm wanted by the Ardanian Empire right now, remember? It seems like a bad idea to make myself cons uh, conspicuous. Rectrex make a good point. Tor was just too curious to see what kind of blade Rectrex awaken. At any rate, I don't need to awaken a blade, do I? I've already got Pyro. Come now, Rex. Don't tell me you thought drivers could only bond with a single blade. What? Is that not right? Not at all. Many drivers have more than one. With Neogon... We're a bit short on numbers right now. We might not hold up all the uh, all that well in a fight. Perhaps it would actually be a good idea to get yourself a new blade. A new blade opens up new possibilities in battle, after all. Hmm. It would stop you from putting so much strain on Pyra as well. Seems like a good thing all around, if you ask me. Well, Pyra doesn't mind. I guess it couldn't hurt to try. I don't have any objections. The more the merrier. Then it's settled. The question is, where are we going to get ourselves a core crystal? Now that one, now that's one question I can answer. I happen to have one stored away for just such an occasion. We're not going to do this in the middle of the freaking plaza, are we? Where Gramps hide core crystal with such small body? The key to awakening... Oh, he's just sandbagged at heart. Not even going to acknowledge that. The key to awakening a new blade is to foster a powerful re resonance with the driver's spirit. Focus your whole mind on the core crystal as you touch it, and try to hold a clear picture in your mind of the blade you wish to awaken. I'm not sure I really understand, but I'll give it a try. I hope you awaken a wonderful blade. Unnamed core crystal number one, or just one. Select the character to bond with. Rex. Okay. So, there will eventually be a... Because I know that... Uh, I already knew about this whole thing where you bond with these and you get different weapons or whatever. There's one particular character that I've seen come out of these. I don't know any of them except for that one because of the controversy. If this one shows up, which I don't think it's going to show up on this, my first try, but if, whenever it does show up, I'm that video's not necessarily going to be dedicated to me talking about that, but I want to actually talk about this, that nonsense controversy behind it.
This is probably just going to be a generic bleed, I'm assuming. Starting off. I was expecting maybe like a QTE here, but I guess not. We got a generic one. I think the ones that look like this are generic in quotes. And I'm not 100% sure. So she has a couple of Seistus. Or she has a voice, at least. Kokutan. And she uses Seistus, I'm assuming. I don't know if they're actually called that. Rex's ability to re uh, resonate with core crystals has been unlocked. You can bond with a blade at any time by going to main menu blades in Bond Blade. Core crystals aren't much use just lying around, so it can't hurt to resonate with them and see what hap what you get. Also, the higher a driver's luck state value... Okay, so luck apparently matters here. The better their, their chance of awakening certain very special blades. So, you should go all luck. Once you have yourself a new blade, you'll need to engage it, engage it so that it can take part in battle. Add blades to your battle party in main menu, characters, character setup, and engage blades. Up until now, Rex has had to rely on Pyra alone for support in battle. But now, you'll be able to engage a variety of other blades and expand your support options. To take advantage of different blades in battle, press the directional button corresponding to each blade's face icon and perform a blade switch. In no time at all, the blades who was the blade who was previously supporting you will retreat and a new blade will take their place on the battlefield. Of course, switching blades will change both your weapons and your available arts. Different blades have different benefits and drawbacks in battle. So use blade switches tactically and consider the current situation. That looks like a good one. Meh meh. Fur always stand on end whenever Taurus see driver resonate with Crystal. So cool. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're making me feel weird. Well, looks like we've got a new recruit anyway. Let's go and find what happened to Nia. Rex, not so fast. Huh? What's up? Aren't you going to kit your new... Ugh, I hate the word kit. You can tune up the weapon with a core chip from the smithy there. If Rectrex never used core chip before, then now very good time to start. You can really tell the difference between a driver who uses uh, core chips and one who doesn't. I'm starting to understand. Now for the main topic. That over there is an ox core shop. I don't suppose you had a lot, uh, had a lot of call to go in there before you became a driver. You're right about that. I used to wonder what all that strange gear was for, though. For, though. Perhaps we should head over and give it a try, then. Ox cores are just the thing for supplementing a blade's power. They're all different types. Some boost defense, defense. Some boo, uh, some make strong against insects or stronger at nighttime. Meh. The number of ox cores you can equip varies from blade to blades. Mind. Interesting stuff. Now, this is the important part, so listen up. Usually when you get an ox core, it's in an empty state. You won't boost your blade with it empty. Okay, so how do you fix that then? Huh, I see. So this gizmo here makes ox cores usable. You catch on fast. That's right, this machine takes collectibles and raw ox cores and refines them into something useful. Here's the one you can have uh, have a go with. I've been saving it up for this very occasion. A critical up uh, to Rex Rex. Best not think about where he stashed it. Yes, Tor's right about that. It's not much good without collect uh, collectibles, though. Here. Deerwood? Meh meh. You really have a lot stashed away there. You're good to go, Rex. Refine it. Got it. And as soon as we're done, let's go and look for some info about Nia. Okay, so critical up. Boost critical hit rate by 12%. Select materials to use. Amount current required. Well, they gave us a bunch of wood. So I guess you have to use items then? 
do they have like uh like are some worth more than others possibly So you're standing in front of an aux core shop, let's revisit the topic of aux cores for a moment. At shops like these, you can get your aux cores refined. You'll need collectible items to refine aux cores. The number of collectible items you'll need is defined individually for each aux core. Once you have all the collectibles you need, you can head to the shop to get your aux cores uh, refined. But watch out, the higher the value of the aux core, the more difficult it is, it's likely to be to find all the necessary items. If you want to be able to refine your aux core as soon as you get them, You'll need to always be on the lookout for, for collection points on your travels. Ox cores can be equipped to blades in main menu, characters, blades set up, and equip ox cores. That was way too much information because I've pretty much haven't retained most of that. Okay, so we got blades now, but we still don't have one other thing. Awaken a new blade with album. I guess these are all the blades, which are not very many. Though there's probably going to be more from the DLC, I think. So we have Kokutan here. And this just takes us here. Her wheel isn't as flushed out as the other two. Or as Pyra's or Nia's, I believe. Yeah, because Nia has almost like a full That's what you get wheel you here. Keep at it. Call on me anytime. Okay, I don't need to do that. So I'm still confused. I don't know how to set them up. on me, but uh, maybe we'll just figure that out by looking around for a few seconds. Okay, here. We can have three. Hey. Good. It's done. We've done it. And there she is. Okay, that wasn't as complicated as it could have been. Though, ox crystals. Actually, we didn't do that, and I don't even know how to... Okay, I think it's this slot there. Crit up. There we go. We got it. Alright, now. We still need to find some stuff for that woman, so. I was going to go to the butcher before we got interrupted. Someone hiding over there in the bushes. Okay, now where was that? I think I was here? Yeah, I think I was walking in this way. This guy. You. Okay, he doesn't have it. So they're, I don't know why they have to have all their food separated like this. Okay, she has drinks. I think all that stuff over there is just... Actually, you. You're greens. She should have it. Okay, apparently not. The fish guy. We shouldn't have to go around to talk to this guy. He doesn't have it either. Also, those those people right there, again, come on, Nintendo. The, the direct spoil too much. Those guys right there, or that level 8 dude there with his, when did it get so uh, light? With oh. his blade, are and people hunting going. for me. I'm a bit self-conscious. So yeah, once now that we're a fugitive, hunters will just show up trying to get us. Again, something they talked about in the directs, which is unfortunate. Because I could have just walked straight into them and got caught, but nope, I already knew what was going on there. God, where is this person who sells this stupid... Okay, actually, I need to buy another thing from you, possibly. 
Oh, you don't have anything good. You... The ones at the other place had better stuff. So I don't know where I'm going to get this. Uh, hustle Hyacinth from. Can I actually open this? I probably shouldn't. Since those baddies are there. Okay, we have a loaf of bread. Maybe there? That's like the last spot. Do you have it? He doesn't. Where the heck is this stuff? Should I even care? Should I just ignore this quest? This kid over here. Let's talk to this one. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Okay, apparently the pink quest marks are actually us asking people information for information. I don't know anything about that, but the grown-ups do seem to be talking about secret complicated stuff a lot lately. Apparently there are some kind of dangerous people causing trouble. It's only been 10 years since the war between Mor Aridun and Uriah ended. Why would they stir up more trouble? It sounds like a real pain. I hope the Ard uh, Ardanians soldiers will be able to protect us. Okay, apparently these pink question marks are not, in fact, quests. Alright, well, I feel dumb now. Because we passed by someone over here, on our way here, that we could have talked to. Now, were they here, or was it, yeah, this one right here. Have you heard anything about the girl called Nia, who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Uh, sorry, I'm only really interested in plants. I don't keep up with the latest rumors. What's with it? His hair is going crazy. I want to become a botanist in Moor Arden, but my parents keep saying it's too dangerous. It's been a while, a uh, whole decade now since Moor Arden and Ur Uraya cease hostilities. And sure, there's been this nasty group called Torna popping up in the news lately, but still. It's not like anything's bad's gonna happen when more uh, more Aridans in charge. Doesn't this peaceful peaceful town prove that? I can't believe that I was just passing up all these pink exclamation points, assuming that they were all quests, but they actually aren't. And now they don't show up on my compass anymore. That's super annoying. I think it might salvage another time. Have you heard anything about a girl uh, called Nina? Or Nia? Oh yeah, I heard something interesting. Apparently the Torna member that the Ardanian Empire captured was some Gormodi girl called Nia. Nia? That name seems familiar somehow. Didn't the old lord of Echel a decade or so ago have... Actually, let's not talk about that. It's not a happy thing to think about. Thank you so much. The name of a Tornin. Okay. Also, we're going to use a salvage, salvaging uh, spot again, because I want to see what we get. Time for some treasure hunting. Probably going to mess up the first one again. Yo. Onwards. I messed up the second one, because I pressed the wrong button. Oh, ma'am. Did I come up with a load of guff again? Oh, we got a... A monster, a chest, and a bunch of pink jungle frames, and strong screws, winding screws, locust spring, strong screw. No, we lost the upper hand. Oh, no, Let's just get rid of this guy first before we mess around with this chest. So when he stabs, that's his third strike, and then we go into this. I'm not even gonna bother trying to circle around this guy because it's not worth it. Flame Nova. It's okay. Much obliged. Anchor shot. You don't stand a chance against us now. I'm just gonna pick this up before we kill him. I feel like he was stronger than the uh, guy we fought earlier, even though the other guy was bigger. All right, let's open this up. Treasure acquired. Trick, mirror, brilliant prison, prison. Okay. 
Well, we got a bunch of stuff out of that. I wasn't expecting that. So, I shouldn't really talk to those guy. Oh, this guy over here. There's no pond hiding in the the brush. Have you heard anything about Nia? Turuni know this, of course, but Turuni is informant by trade. Cannot provide information without proper compensation. Uh, by what? 3,000 golds, rumors of battleship? Okay, whatever. A Gormani girl is imprisoned on a Titan battleship. Her identity is unknown. Thanks much for custom. Inside Titan Battleship, Gormodi Girl being held prison prisoner. Unfortunately, Turuni not yet received intelligence specifying prisoner name. But rumors say Big Ship arrived for sole purpose of holding one measly girl. People of Gormodi getting along quite well with Empire nowadays, so trouble like this not very welcome. That seemed to be an opinion of most of uh, Torigoth resident. Uh, that about extent of information Turuni no. Enough to satisfy his friends? Thanks. So, I kind of already realized that's probably where she is, so... We didn't actually learn anything there, but we learned it... Uh, for... We learned it for the plot. Actually, I probably should be... Now that we've done that, I'm gonna... See if there's anything we can buy from these guys. To upgrade ourselves. Oh, he's selling swords. Weird. So, do we actually gain anything? This gives us more damage. We lose block rate, but we gain critical. And same thing, more more damage, more crits, but losing block. What about you? Same thing. Basically. Like, they say different things, but they're not actually, like, I'm super confused here. Actually, go back to this. Because these names don't change, but... Oh, I guess it just doesn't matter. Should I upgrade these? Let's just get a sword for her. Okay, cool. I'm not going to upgrade Sasis girl yet. He didn't have any armor, but I think that's what this person sells, possibly? Leather gloves, dexterity, agility. Increases aggro reduction. Increases aggro every second. That's good. Uh, increases attack power of Great Axe class weapons. Lance weapons and Anishiagen. So I guess all we can do is talk to this guy. Who are you people? Uh-oh. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to ask an Ardanian soldier. Um, there's something I wanted to ask, but now I've clean forgotten what it was. Hmm. If it's information you're after, go pay for it at a local inf informant. Chatting with the populace isn't our job, you understand. Okay, well, I already did that. So we know she's on that ship over there, that thing back there. Is there anyone else to talk to? You know, it would be nice if uh, my compass was working, but I don't know how to turn it on, or turn it back on, if I've accidentally turned it off. No. It just goes into the abyss with purple water. What are they pumping out? That purple goo can't be good. Is that, like, waste? Like, nuclear waste or something? That can't be good. That's just seeping into the ground down there. Or, not even seeping into the ground. It's seeping into this guy's freaking body. That's not okay. You're going to end up killing him with that. Being very irresponsible.
That door looks suspicious. What is this? There's a little fox here. And its tails, are, it's, it's inside the ground. It's clipping through the ground. Is that supposed to be there? It had a hitbox, so I'm assuming it's supposed to be there. And they didn't realize its body was clipping through the ground. Oh, what's this? This is where we went into, yeah, tourist place. I assume maybe we could go back here and talk to Tora since I don't think he was gonna. Oh, oh this yeah. respawns as well? Cool. Okay, that's pretty dope. So this is just like a little mining spot to always get wood from. Okay, we're back to the beginning here. There, there's a person we've missed. Possibly the last, the only person we haven't found. Have you heard anything about Nia? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Some Ardanian dude was saying they were going to execute the prisoner within the next few days. Those Torna guys are pretty bad, right? I heard they've killed loads of drivers to steal their core crystals. Pretty amazing that the Empire have really captured one of them. The Empire is so cool. I wonder what they're, they'll do at this execution thing, anyway. I've never seen one before. I gotta go see it for myself. You guys should come along too. Thank you so much. Rumors of execution. So, clearly they don't know what an execution is. The race to find Nia completed, apparently. Well, I actually got something done. I screwed around long enough to actually finish this. And now we actually have question marks back up, or exclamation points back up on our freaking... Okay, it's on this level. Pyra, will you chill? I'm pretty sure she just fell off. Oh, are we going back into his house? That's what's happening here? Oh, we were supposed to come back here. Nia and Dromark executed. It doesn't bear thinking about. But getting aboard that warship will be no mean feat. We're going to need an ironclad plan. Army Port is under heavy guard. I guess we'll just have to mount a full on attack. No, Rex, we can't put everyone in danger. Right. Sorry. There. This is one of the Grand Arbor's routes, right? If this map is correct, it goes all the way from the key to the hull of the warship. And here, it looks like some kind of cargo entrance. Could we sneak on that way? Oh, right. No one will spot us if we sneak in from below. Security light around this entrance. At night, not even workers here. Looks like this is our only option. Then it's a plan. <laughs> Tora? Tora have something to show you. What's this then? Nobody already getting ever this? see this before. Secret of Tora. An artificial blade. An artificial blade? I can't believe it. Tora have always wanted to be driver of blade. But Tora... Uh, Tora has no potential to awaken Core Crystal. How could you know that? Surely you just have to try and... Oh. You did, didn't you? Yes, one year ago. Tora applied to drive a recruitment man. Oh, dearie me. Oh, Tora, you mean you... It was bad. Tora had nosebleed for three days. Just a nosebleed? What you mean, just? People die from loss of blood, you know. 
Yeah, but from a nosebleed. Anyway, moving on. For a near-death experience, you're awfully casual about this. Anyway, back to Tora's blade. When complete, even no potential Tora can be a driver. This is simply incredible. You built this blade from scratch, Tora? It was started by Grampy Pon and Dada Pon. But Grampy Pon die, and Tora still not know where Dada Pon go to. Oh. So Tora will finish Blade myself and become a driver like always wanted. Then Dada Pon hear about Tora's success and come back home, yes? Oh, Tora. By the by, Tora, this blade, as far as I can see, it looks complete. What is there left to do? <laughs> All Tora have left to do is buy missing parts. But Tora have no money at all. Oh, really? Really? Nothing. At all? Not even one gold. So you're asking for a loan? Uh, not loan. <laughs> um, closer to generous donation. Just like a nopon. <laughs> Always shrewd when it comes to gold. But, but, but if Tora completes Artificial Blade, combat capabilities will be big help on mission. Well, yeah. If it works, you may have a point. So, how much exactly do you need? Oh, no more than 60,000 gold. 60,000? Do you want a kidney as well? Calm down, Rex. I think we owe Tora our help. If it's just money he needs, I may be able to assist. Assist? How exactly? Nothing illegal. I hope! Don't even joke, Gramps. This is a natural crystal. It should fetch around 60,000. No way. We can't let you sell that. But... No, it wouldn't be right. That's it. I'm paying for the parts myself. Very admirable. But we gave our money away, so it doesn't matter. Rex Rex is too generous. This blade of yours had better be seriously useful, though, Tora. Up, leave that to Tora. Well then, let's go, I guess. Yippee! Will they really be okay? I suppose they'll have to be. Okay, so again, that whole uh, Robo Blade, they showed it off in the directs again, so again, something else I knew was going to happen. Again, Nintendo, come on. There's so much about the story that I know from your stupid directs. Why did you have the social month show so much? I, I should have just not watched them at all, but I couldn't help it. Plus, it's like not even, they weren't even the main focus. They were just, they just happened to be in their directs, and it's like, oh, you know half the story already. So do you actually need to finish this artificial blade? Uh, one perfect rain sensor and three bion connectors. I don't think I've ever heard of those. Perfect rain sensor supplements function of eyes and artificial blade. Quite pricey item, but very important. And the bion connectors. They have many uses, but mostly to prevent hat fall off. Would an ordinary piece of string not suffice? So, um, where can we buy these items? At Margia's Odds and Ends. Is just off to the left after entering Torigoth City. I'm sure we must have walked past that area before. Yeah, we have. Alright, let's go. We've already been there. We don't have enough money. Oh, this is what conveniently available again. I'll be taking that. Though again, we don't have the money to do this, though I will be ending it here. When did it get so late? Oh, and I've started glowing. I'm a bit self-conscious. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully we can actually get more done in the next video, though I think I might... Rex, can you not disappear, please? I might actually be cutting out a lot of the nonsense that happened in this video, so... It isn't as terrible. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment if you do. See ya.